Alright, now, this dude, whoever he is, I don't know if i anybody's name or nothing. He said a lot of shit in the video that was true. You can't hate him for pointing out the obvious, but you can point out some of the things that he didn't see. Now, first of all, man, me and you are both standing in line for a job. Regardless of what you think or what somebody's giving you, sometimes it's who you know. Now, we get up to the job, and I know this guy who's working here. Say, for instance, you got four or five years more um, experience I got. But if I know somebody, you're not getting a job. That's black power. Now, say for instance, you're on welfare. And I'm on welfare. The government has placed us in zones. They put the Indians on reservations. They put the white people in trailer parks. And they put black folks in the inner city. Now, where is it easier to get a job from? Where is it easier to get credit from? Where is it easier to get anything from? It's not what you are nowadays, baby. It's who you know. And a lot of white folks think that there's not that many white folks. White folks are going to be a minority in America for the first time. Uh, wake up. White folks was a minority in America a long time ago. See, white people have benefited a lot from this country. A lot more than black people have benefited. And if you can't see that, you're as blind and as stupid as your black friends are leading you to be. Yeah, you got some black friends. I can hear it in your voice. You didn't say nothing wrong in that video, as far as I'm concerned. You know, you shit, you didn't say anything that a black militant wouldn't say. And yet you're speaking about black militant people need to shut up. You sounded just like a black militant. So, let me give you one more example. I worked at this place for a long time, kid. Put in six years, kid. Some white kid came out of the blue. Guess his father knew somebody. He got a job. Then, he got his friend a job. I've been there six years. You can say a whole bunch about this and that. It's who you know, baby. And there's a lot of more white people in position to do things for white people than there is black people. On an average, the average black person is not going to go hire somebody just because they're black. The average black person who has the opportunity to put someone in a position to get a job is not going to hire someone that they may think may fuck up. Therefore, there would never be a black struggle or black power or black structure. Because black people don't do like white people do when it comes to position of hiring people for a job that they have to oversee. Now, am I going to hire the black guy? with the pants down to his fucking ankles? No. I'm gonna hire the white guy. Clean, ready to come to work. He might be on crank, but hey, I'm gonna hire him till he fuck up. See, the average young black person never really had to go get no job or do nothing. Because with nothing, they make something out of nothing, and that's why poor white people without nothing see poor black people without nothing have something and they think these black people got something because they got nothing can you understand or should I talk a little slower oh my asthma is kicking up see I'm old broke down from the stresses and strains that this country has placed upon me my white friends and my Mexican friends who don't have what we should have. Ain't no old money, baby. It's just us. So, I just gave you some examples of how power is, is controlled and continued. Now, this is what white America is seeing right now. A young Hispanic person gets a job. 
He's there for two or three years, and now he's in position to hire somebody. Who is he going to hire? He's going to hire the Mexican person. Eight times out of ten, he's going to hire the Mexican person. Maybe a family member, a close friend of a family member. The same network that kept white people in charge of America for thousands of years has now been turned over to Mexican people. Black people have been raised not to trust each other because they always want something or whatever, blah, blah, blah. A stereotype placed upon black people by white people it mitigated and administered to black people by black people. Do you understand what I just said? There will be no black power. No black power struggle. The average black man is not going to hire another black man. The average white guy will hire another white guy or a friend. And that friend may or may not be black. But on the average, the average Hispanic always hires another Hispanic. And that is what you said people are tripping off of now. Oh, they're taking the jobs. They put themselves in position, climbed the ladder, and replaced us. The same thing black people never learned how to do. So white people, now that it's happening to you, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Just breathe slow. Calm down things will change. There will be some low pan jobs but we can climb back in there. Start off at the bottom, put yourself in position to hire people, then hire who you want to, just like everybody else is doing. Just like you have done for the last whenever. Do what you usually do. Don't take it out on black people. Don't take it out on the people that you built your land upon. You cannot tell me that white people have not benefited from slavery any way, shape, or form in America. It's trickled down, baby. And now that the spigot is run dry, black power. Ain't no power left, baby. We're being outsourced. You, me, and whoever speaks what I'm speaking right now. I'm not bashing my friends from over the border. They doing only what they should do. You find somebody weak, you step on them until they can't get up. White people have done it to black people, Indians and whoever else. Why shouldn't it happen now? 205 seconds, baby. Watch it burn. So, let me say this and let me say this quick. Instead of spouting some racist bullshit, you need to get with the real picture. It ain't black and white, baby. It ain't white and brown. It ain't black and brown. This is an economic form of slavery that us Americans cannot handle. We are not equipped for the low wages and the high rent and the high gas prices. We're not ready for the high gas prices and it's killing us. Plus, we got bigger fish to fry. You've been too.